Well, Butte County Public Health leaders held a press conference today to address this new stay-at-home order. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso joins us now. So Esteban, I know you listened in this afternoon. A lot to talk about. What do the leaders have to say? Well, Butte County leaders say the county is not overwhelmed by hospitalizations right now and still the best way to slow the spread of COVID-19 is staying distant and wearing your mask. According to the governor's press conference today, it's projected that the region that we are in may go below that 15% ICU capacity by early to mid-December. So it could happen soon, but as of right now, it has not happened for us in our region. Butte County falls into the greater Sacramento region. When a region has to implement the stay at home order is determined by that region's ICU bed capacity, then that region will be notified and have 24 hours to implement the stay at home order. And once a region meets the threshold, it's out of the local health leader's hands. If the county nor the local public health agency has the authority to modify or lift any state orders. When a state order is put in place, we do have to follow that order. I think it's unfortunate that we're getting to that point, especially at this time of year when you want to be around family and friends, and I totally understand that. It can be avoided, we just need to be better. Meanwhile, Butte County Public Health says it's preparing for the first round of vaccine doses expected around December 15th. The vaccine distribution plan is in process of being developed. But until then, Currently, the only defenses that we have against COVID have not changed. They're the non-pharmaceutical interventions, like wearing our face coverings. One other thing Butte County Public Health mentioned is that even if a region is placed under the stay-at-home order, K-12 through grade schools that are already open for in-person learning may continue to stay open. Alan, back to you. All right, thank you, Esteban. Now, Butte County reported 58 new coronavirus cases today, so its total is now just over 4,300. 419 people are currently in isolation, and 33 of those are hospitalized. In Chico 